Well, we're taking a closer look tonight at an Indiana County that unexpectedly emerged as a COVID-19 hot zone. News 8's Julia Dang reports from Decatur County. Well, health officials here in Decatur County say they can't pinpoint why they have one of the highest infection rates in the country. But looking back, they did note a number of large community gatherings where altogether thousands of people may have been in contact with each other. We've been kind of a hot spot from the beginning. We with 10.5 COVID-19 deaths for every 10,000 residents, Decatur County has earned the unlikely distinction of being the deadliest hotspot in Indiana, despite in local state. shutdown orders tougher than the governor's. We are a rural county. It's not a community where you would think of as congregation happening quite as much. But weeks before the outbreak, a community event that public health preparedness coordinator Sean Durbin believes contributed to community spread. We did have a sectional basketball game. He says there's no data suggesting Decatur County's COVID-19 outbreak began at the game. The county's two truck stops or a Greensburg Honda plant with more than 2,500 workers. Only one employee reported testing positive when production was halted in late March. This is going to take a lot of forensic investigation to try and find out where this started. I think we'll see. Dr. Wayne Perry, right. chief of staff at Decatur County Memorial Hospital, pointed to early testing targeting people with COVID-19 symptoms. Those parameters boosted our early numbers. You know, I think we're going to find with additional testing in other areas that infectivity rates are quite similar. But according to state health officials, Marion County has a higher test rate than Decatur County and 3.4 COVID-19 deaths for every 10,000 residents. Durbin, who's distancing from his family and hasn't met his new grandchild, reminding Hoosiers flattening the curve is only the first step. We're seeing 20 times more cases of COVID in a week than we ever see with the flu, 20 times. And a health coordinator added he's noticing a shift in public perception. He believes residents are more likely to follow distancing guidelines now than they were a month ago. But it could be a few more months before those guidelines can be lifted. In Decatur County, Julia Dang, Wish TV and WishTV.com. And be sure to follow us on Facebook.